Dear Heavenly Father, today I want to lift up all the recipients that have suffered and been afflicted over this major tornado that happened in West Kentucky, Father God, in parts of West Kentucky that has affected the farmland and the mills and machineries and factories and the farm areas of West Kentucky. Father God, that has left many uh, Kentucky residents without food, home, and shelter, and have lost animals and chickens, Father God, and their livelihood and businesses. Even like almost a little bit over a week, Father God, before Christmas, because I know a lot of people in America, they celebrate Christmas, and this is becoming more like a black Christmas this year, Father, and the black winter, a dark black winter, because of the many things that's happening and occurring to attack and target the economy in America for many Americans, and even for the Americans, Father God, in Kentucky that has destroyed their economy. Father God, for a while, Father God, behind this tornado that has attacked the farmlands and the mills and the soils, Father God, and the resources and machineries and the chickens and other things and their monies because it's connected to business and their livelihood and to take care of themselves and their families. And is connected to them having a home to stay, Father God. So, Father God, I just really pray, first of all, that you will comfort the hearts of every soul that has been afflicted with this tornado disaster and where their land has been hurt and their farmlands and animals have been hurt and machineries and their livelihood and finances and businesses has been hurt and harmed and destroyed behind the tornado, Father God. So, Father God, I just pray that you will restore everything that the enemy has stolen, Father God, through this tornado from Kentucky. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, because you are the God of restoration, even though the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, Jesus have came to give life more abundantly and to give everlasting life to all the Kentucky people, Father God, and everywhere in America and everywhere in the world. And you are the God of restoration. So, Father, it's nothing It's nothing too hard for you to do, Father. And it's nothing too hard for you to do in Kentucky, Father God, to restore what the devil has stolen from the people in Kentucky, in the farmlands, Father God, through this tornado, Father God. And I pray that you restore their land and property and machineries and animals more than what they have lost in the very beginning, that their latter end will be greater than the beginning, Father God, for the people in Kentucky. I pray that you would do miracles for the people in Kentucky today and every day, and that you would do a quick recovery of restoration and reconciliation. Father God, and rejuvenation, Father God, in the hearts of the people in Kentucky, Father God, and in their land and property, Father God, in their farmlands and with their animals. Father, I pray that you heal any animals that are still alive, that are injured, Father God, that has been afflicted by the tornado that has been targeted and wounded by the tornado, Father God, in Kentucky, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father, that you will heal any souls in their hearts and in their bodies that have been afflicted by the tornado in any given way, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will make the bodies of these wounded souls, Father God, and the wounded hearts heal, Father God. And you will heal not only their bodies, but you will heal their hearts and their souls from the wounds of this tornado, Father God. And from the loss 
of the tornadoes from their loss and the frustrations, Father God, of them losing so much, Father God, behind this tornado in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray that you will provide because you are the Lord, the provider, the Jehovah Jireh, Father, for the people in Kentucky. And I pray that you provide them with all the resources of restoration to restore their land and properties and their farmlands, animals and finances and businesses, Father God, and that you provide them for the things that they need today, Father God, like shelter, medical supplies, food, water, Uh, blankets, clothing, Father God, and love and encouragement and peace and joy, fulfillment, insight, wisdom, knowledge, guidance, understanding, divine protection, Father God, from you and your angels to protect them and your angels to, to, to comfort them on every side, Father God, today and every day. In Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father, secondly, that you will move on the hearts of the people of Kentucky, Father God, and anywhere in the state, Father God, where Kentucky is, and any city connected to Kentucky, and residents, Father God, in Kentucky and West Kentucky, Father God, to repent for any sins. Father God, that they have sin in that region, Father God, and rebelling against you in any given way. Father God, rebelling against your word and rejecting your son Jesus for the ones that have sinned. Father God, and I'm not saying that everybody in Kentucky are sinning. I'm talking about the ones that are guilty of sinning that need to repent for any given sins, Father God, in Kentucky, because you allow a lot of things to happen in America because your judgment is upon America, Father God, for all the many things that many Americans and many American leaders are doing in this nation of America that is displeasing to you in sinning against the children and killing the children and the babies and killing people with their witchcrafts and participating in evil treacheries and thieveries, Father God, and rebelling against you and your word and rejecting your son Jesus and whoring after other gods and and worshiping other idols and usurping ourselves to be our own little gods. Father God, and doing all this witchcraft and doing all this scheming and gaming and lying and stealing, Father God, and cheating and mistreating people, Father God, and cutthroating people, Father God, being so conniving and dirty toward one another and doing all this hatred and killing the children through these abortions and stuff, Father, and through human trafficking programs and through modern day slavery programs and and enslavering other people and just being so mean and nasty, being jerks toward one another, not loving one another, Father God. So I pray that you move on the hearts of the people in Kentucky to repent over these things and any personal sins that they have done, Father God, to turn their hearts right with you, to turn to Jesus, to turn to righteousness, Father God, and to receive Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior and to get close to Jesus because, Father, these type of disasters that's happening in America is is your way of telling us to wake up and to smell the coffee, to, that you're angry for all the ways that we're sinning and rebelling against you and doing our own evil things. And with every evil thing that we want to do, that we need to repent and turn away from our evil, from doing evil, and we need to turn to Jesus and start doing right and get our hearts right with you and our lives right with you, Father. So you're waking up the people in Kentucky to do this, Father, to repent and turn away from their wicked ways and turn to Jesus, that they need to hook up with Jesus, Father. They need to hook up with your word and be obedient to your word. And I'm talking about the ones in Kentucky that are rebelling against you, Father. I'm not talking about the Christians in Kentucky that are being obedient to your word and stuff, Father, and that's living righteously before you. I'm talking about the ones in Kentucky that are not living right before you and that keep sinning and they won't repent for the wicked things that they do. And they keep rebelling against you and your word, Father God, and mistreating innocent souls and killing off the innocents. 
Father God, and doing whatever sins in that region that is really making you angry, Father God, to cause these disasters to happen, Father God, because you have removed your hand of protection upon the nation of America, Father God, because Kentucky is not the only place that's being hard struck and targeted with disasters, Father God. This is happening in a lot of major cities in America and non-major cities in America in various ways. This is not just disasters of storms and tornadoes and earthquakes and, and water attacks and floods and fires, Father. It's also attacks, economic and hacking attacks, Father God, and terrorism attacks and and looting attacks and businesses and thefts and violence and terrorism and all kind of stuff that's happening, Father God, in different cities in America because of your judgment hand upon America for our sins in America, Father God. That we have not repented for and we're too proud to repent for and admit that we ever do anything wrong. And keep sinning even more and rebelling against you and provoking you to anger to the point where you are judging America with all this disastrous like stuff happening in in our cities in America, Father, in our states in America. So I just pray that you wake up the people in Kentucky that need to be woken up to repent and that you'll just provide and extend your mercy out to them and protect them, Father God, and that you will just heal the hearts of the ones that have lost loved ones because of this tornado disaster, Father God, and that you will give them the grace to grieve through each day, Father, to go through the grieving process graciously with your help and your strength and your power and your might, Father God, and your anointing, and that you will send your angels to love and comfort on all the souls that have lost loved ones during this uh, season of this hurricane attack, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that have lost animals too, Father God, and pets and homes and monies and businesses and everything. Father God, and that you will let them know that you are the Lord, their Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, their provider that will provide if they dare to put their trust in you in Kentucky, Father God, in anywhere in America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So I thank you for urging the people in Kentucky to repent and turn away from their wicked ways and turn to righteousness, turn to Jesus and get hooked up with Jesus and sold out to Jesus and to submit to your kingdom way of doing things and your rulership and and your leadership and your right way of doing things, Father God, and not to lean to their own way of doing things, but to lean to your way of doing things, your wisdom and your word, Father, and to submit to Jesus and accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior and to be more Christ-like, to be more like Jesus, to be righteous and holy, Father God, before you and pleasing to you, to do what is pleasing to you in your word, Father God, and stop horn after other gods and idols, Father, and stop being like the devil and stop acting like the devil, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, to act like Jesus, to act like you, Father God, and to become more like Jesus day by day. And that's not just for the people in Kentucky, but that's for all cities and states in the United States of America, for all people in America, including myself, as I'm living in America, as an American citizen, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for taking good care of the people in Kentucky, Father God, despite of their losses, and you are restoring everything in their land, and you are restoring their farmlands and animals, and you are giving them more than what they have ever lost in the very beginning, because you are the God of restoration, and you're the God of more than enough, Father God, and you're the God that still do miracles to today and the same forever, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, you never change. And I thank you for doing great miracles for the people in Kentucky, Father God, today and every day, and that you release your presence around them and your love around them and surround them with your peace and joy and love, Father God, and your comforts on every side upon the people 
in Kentucky, Father God, today and every day, and your angels of love around them. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.